Hello, 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 it's Kathy Bedell at MyStampingSpot.com coming to you live from Londonderry, New Hampshire. Welcome, welcome today. How are you? We're going to do something fun with some cute gift packing, blah, 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 packaging that's coming in the new uh, January to April mini catalog. But first, I wanted to show you some Christmas cards I got. How beautiful is that? This stamp set has been so popular this year. This is from Donna. I love it. This DSP is uh, from an old 6x6 six six paper pack from two or three years ago. Jane sent me this beautiful card. This is gorgeous, and I have to say, I loved this uh, die set. It was a stamp and die set. It's from a few years ago. This is probably the nicest way I've seen it done. That's a lot of little paper piecing in there that she did. So congratulations, Jane. That looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This is from Flo. Flo is an avid card maker who's been around for quite a few years. Very, very pretty. Do you remember when Stampin' Up! had these beautiful silver and gold doilies? They were so pretty. This is from Debbie. Debbie's one of my local Stamp Club girls, as well as a team member. So she did a really cute step card here. I think that's gorgeous. She put the little extra trim inside as well. Thank you, Deb. Love that. This, I think, is, yeah, from another Deb. She's actually a Stamp Club member as well, local girl. Um, how cute is this? This is really one of my favorites, the little embossing folder. I love what you did there, Deb. Thank you, thank you. And this is, uh, Pauline sent this to me. Um, isn't that so cute? It was, uh, she was mailing me a little something, and she included this very beautiful, uh, game. Oh, tied, Karen. There you go. Karen and I follow sports together a bit. We interact on that a little bit. Okay, so now that you've seen some inspiration if you need some last minute holiday inspiration i'm going to show you something that's coming in the new catalog it's square pillow boxes and we're gonna we're gonna do easy today so these are really cute and i am not going to build it well maybe we will build it uh we're going to stamp it before we build it so i'm bringing over painted lavender this is in the new catalog along with the dies. I should have grabbed the dies to show you. I think they're right here. I've actually used them a bit. They have a great lavender class coming up. Would you like a sneak peek of that? I'll show it to you. So I haven't decided, I think I don't know if this is going to just be a regular class or an add-on to the retreat. Let me fix it here. This is some of the new beautiful DSP that's in the suite. And some of those beautiful butterflies that are coming. These, these are these dies. So this is an upcoming class. I just love it. I just love everything about this suite. I love the colors. It's awesome. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are first going to stamp our little gift box here. I figure, you know, maybe the first of the year you want to uh, send someone a little thank you for their Christmas gift. Or, I don't know, maybe you didn't get to see the postman before. I am just going to use this, uh, like, which call it a sprig maybe and that's what I'm going to use to stamp and you all know I don't like a huge block so I'm going to put it on the diagonal and I am choosing shaded spruce and I'll show you the reason why in a minute um hey Maria Linda Donna how are you Donna I just saw your beautiful showed you a beautiful card Marshy Penny Marsha Penny thank you all for being here okay this is shaded spruce this is one of the colors that's in the DSP for the class that I just showed you, which we're going to use as a belly band for this gift box in a moment. So I am having trouble getting a good, there we go. I am 
these are self-adhesive pieces. So this is self-adhesive closure. And I am just going to stamp randomly all over the whole box. You know, next week, I promise to get back to my desk so that there's no shaking going on. And we're just going to bring it in from all different directions. And we want to cover all the pieces. Now we could add a color with one of the florals, but I'm not going to do that because we are going to add the color with the belly band. That's my goal. Whoa! Juicy ink pad, juicy ink pad. Now this one is going to be a little trickier because of these adhesive pieces. I think I'm going to just stamp right on them and I'll just have to be careful of the ink on my fingers when I go to peel them off that I don't smudge it everywhere else. Okay. I think that's good. You know, I may bring in just one over here. I need a piece of scrap paper to put down. Hold on. Oh, if you could see my see my table I'm working with, you'd be horrified. Horrified, but that's okay. It's all good. Okay. Now let me show you how to build this box. Super, super easy. Let me close this up first. Hey Carol. Yeah, Carol, it's pretty awesome. Okay. So I am just using my fingers on the back to kind of guide my pinching. And this has a little bit of a shininess to it. So if you were to do this, I would actually wait and make sure this ink is dry really well. Because if you've ever worked with anything glossy, you know that the ink can take a little longer to dry. So it's a little more awkward for me to do this just because I'm trying not to smudge the ink. But all I'm doing is using my fingers on the back side to kind of guide the folds. So it's really easy. It doesn't take much effort. Like that. Okay, once you have all the folds done, you're just going to come in and just pull up these adhesive tabs. I'll put this somewhere where I don't smudge that ink that's on this tab. Okay, so <clears throat> what I did, and hopefully this will make sense to you, is I kind of squeezed my two adhesive edges together and then I kind of folded up, whoa, folded up and over the other two pieces. And I did one side at a time. And if you fold it as you're doing it, it will line, whoops, it will line up pretty. I got to tell you, when I didn't do it on camera, it was a lot easier. I think I'm trying to make sure you have a good angle. But all I'm looking to do is line up the seam. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just lining up the seam. And like I said, I think it's a little easier when you're not on camera because I'm just specifically trying to make sure that you get a good visual of it. There we go. There's a cute little gift box. Isn't that adorable? So now we're going to we're going to step it up just a little bit. We're going to bring in our cutter. And this is the Perennial Lavender 12 by 12 DSP. And this is pretty fabulous. I may have shown it. Wild and Bro Oh, Karen, we're going to have to... Karen, can you send me a reminder of that? And then we can, we can chit-chat about that. <laughs> That's Tuesday and Saturday next week. Ooh, next Saturday night we have plans with the family. Huh. Karen, that's so funny, you poor male person. She didn't realize. Okay, perennial lavender. This is super simple just to cut in card front pieces. 
the back has more of a, almost looks like a wheat texture to me. And then we have, again, super easy card front pieces. And this back is gorgeous. I actually did some die cutting out of this purple for those cards I was showing you. Hey, Florence. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. It's my dog, and he's squeaking a little rubber ball. I'm sorry. This is my favorite piece in the whole in the whole pack. I love this piece. But look at the back. How gorgeous is that? And you know what? I decided I was going to put purple on here, which is why I used shaded spruce, but I almost wish I had chosen that because it's so pretty. The reason why I am not going to choose one of these pretty patterns this is gorgeous. Picture that in four by six pieces. How pretty is that? The reason, we all love gingham, the reason why I'm not choosing one of the florals is because then you have a right way and a wrong way. And when you wrap a belly band, ultimately, one side may be upside down. This is what I'm going to use for my belly band around this packaging. So I'm going to put one piece aside. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And that is the back side. And that is our pack. And I'm telling you, it's fabulous. Okay. So this measures about... I have a Valentine's treat where I actually cut a window in this. I'm going to do about two inches for a class coming up. It's so cute. Okay. I'm doing two inches... You could do wider. The important thing with this is you don't want to wrap it around the ends that open and close. You want to pick the other sides, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to do that and I'm just getting a rough idea as to how long it should be roughly. So, this is 2 inches by I'm going to say 10 inches. 2 inches by 10 inches. Now, I would strongly recommend that you either use Seal Plus or you use a tear and tape. If I had a tear and tape right here, I would use it. I have to grab one. Because, the reason why is because you don't have a, I mean it's squared, but it's on a curve. So it's not going to stay permanently the way you want it. Just making sure, yeah, that covers. Um, so it's not going to permanently stay the way you want it, and that's why you're going to want to do the tear and tape. Now, here's my little tip if you decide to do this. Don't put the tear and tape the whole length of it. And the reason is, because there's a curve, you could wind up with it stuck. Hey, KB. Merry Christmas. Carla Britton, how are you? Yes, Karen, make sure you do. Tuesday night. Tuesday night, I'll probably be... I had to order more Christmas cards. I didn't order enough. I'm sending paper pumpkin this year, I'm sorry to say. Not very original. But at least they'll be going out. I didn't adhere it enough. If you can't get the backing off easily, it means that you did not press it hard enough. There you go. So now I'm going to start. Like I said, you don't want to do it on the side that the ends open. What happened? Yes. So this end has the notches. So you don't want to cover that side. So I'm going to have it go this way. So I'm going to start with my tear and tape. And I'm, I'm choosing where these seams meet. I'm choosing to have this be the front. And I'm just going to place it in the middle. And I am just going to start to adhere. Now I'm about halfway. So now I'm going to put more tear and tape on. Lynn, I'm with you. I'm with you. But this year, hey, Shirley, this year, thank you for sharing. This year, I'm living by the motto, better late than never, right? This is this is my motto. I'm learning. Don't be so uptight. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. This stubborn Irish girl, that's a hard lesson for me. 
But I'm, I'm learning it gracefully, I hope. I hope, I hope. Of course, Joelle might not say that, but shh, we won't tell her. Okay. So now I'm going to take the, the adhesive backing off the second strips of tear and tape. And again, the only reason why I didn't do it from end to end with tear and tape is because of the curves on the box. And I was concerned about not getting a good fit and having to manipulate and all the rest of it. And I, I didn't want it to be a big sticky mess because what can happen here, if you're not careful, it won't line up. There we go. So I made my edges lined up and then I kind of pushed on the sides and I'm kind of creasing it a little bit. Okay. Now we have two options. We can put a pretty flower on there, which I think I might do. Um, I think I might just do this one image. I could do markers. Maybe I'll do markers. We'll make it fancy. Oh, actually, how about just a sprig? Oh, I like that better. I'm putting this back. Let's do just a sprig. I have my piece of scrap here with notes for myself. And I'm just gonna stand sta blah, 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 blah. just gonna stamp one. And this does have a die. Ah. That's what you get when you're doing things like one-handed. Half you know what. Half baked. There we go. Better. It does have a die. I'm not going to go pull out a machine. I am going to very quickly. I'm going to very quickly hand trim. Do, 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 do. Maybe we should sing some Christmas carols does not seem like, unless you're like up in Washington, it does not seem like anybody has any real snow this year, huh? Kind of makes me sad. For those of you in Florida and Texas, I suppose that's normal for you. But when you live in the Northeast, you want snow. Don't worry, I'm going to go cut that white chunk out after. And I'm rushing. I'm doing a very sloppy job. Sometimes it's easier just to get rid of the heavy stuff and then go back and fine tune. Holding my scissors weird, too. You all done Christmas shopping? What, what category do you guys fall in? I've been done for months. I'm almost done. A few last minute things, or I haven't started. <laughs> What category do you fall in? <laughs> uh, I almost hit the I haven't started category, but I, I did some online shopping last week. So now I have to get out and get the more personal things this week. That's all right. I'm hoping to take some time off. Kind of. Kind of cutting backwards here for me. For a girl that's not a lefty, I'm kind of cutting like a lefty. Okay. All right. So you all should be receiving your catalogs any day. And uh, lots of cute stuff. If you haven't watched all 12 Days of Christmas, you can go over to YouTube and watch them, or you can scroll down my Facebook page. I think so far my favorite is yesterday's cow, cutest cow. I think that is my favorite. Okay, this is uh, the annual catalog. This is the Simply Elegant trim. And I thought this would just add, oops, I have a knot. I thought this would just add a nice little elegant touch to this packaging. The uh, A gift card would fit in here. Donna just finished today. Karen, you haven't started yours yet either. It doesn't matter how many people you have to shop for. You're funny. Linda's mostly done. Shannon's done. Huh. 
All right. Well, I'm not going to undo that knot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it a little longer so I can use it for something else, and I will undo the lot knot later. And that way it's big enough for something else. So I am just going to pop this on with a little, couple little dimensionals, maybe just one, because I don't think, I don't have any mini dimensionals here, and I, I need to cut it or whatever. And my main purpose is to cover this seam. So I am going to kind of... Put it at an angle, like that. It's a little off-center. There we go. How about that? And then, I am just going to wrap a length of this and tie a little bow. I'm going to actually twist it a little bit straighter. There we go. Even if it doesn't cover the seam. I'm okay with that. I should have put the seam in the back. So there you go. Start in the back of your box, not the front of your box. Front of your box if you're going to do something bigger. Back of your box if you're going to keep it keep it more simple. And I'm just going to tie a bow. And there we go. You could make a little tag if you wanted. Or you can just give it plain. This is great for treats. There we go. You know what I love about this cording is that the ends kind of curl. They have a nice curl to them without even trying. So there we go. There's day six. Is there an up the creek category? <laughs> Apparently, Jean, there is an up the creek category. And I know who's in it. <laughs> You're funny. That's great. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you for being here today, especially on a Saturday. We need to do our giveaway. And I've chosen something a little bit out of season. These, I've chosen these because they were so popular. Um, and I had a couple leftover kits. This is the fall kits. These were my make and take kits. So everything you needed, everything you need is in there except for a stamp set. And, um... And some adhesive. That's all you need. Directions are in the back. Oh! Oh, it's one set of directions for all the cards because they're all made the same way. So this is what we're drawing for. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Larry, are you right there? Yeah. Come draw our name, would you? Pick a lucky winner. Okay. Thank you all for like, commenting, sharing. All right, Larry's reaching in for a name. What name did he come up with? Uh, is that winner right there? Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. It is Doreen Tamoon. Congratulations. Wow. All right. I am going to send those off to Doreen. Doreen, Doreen. Getting a piece of tape so I don't lose it. Congratulations, Doreen. I will get those in the mail to you. All right. Anybody new that's been commenting, if you comment, if you like, if you share, your name will go in this bucket for tomorrow's daily giveaway. We are halfway through day six. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. Then it'll be Christmas, and we'll have a few days. I'm going to take the week between Christmas and New Year's off, and I will be back strong uh, after New Year's. All right. Thank you for being here. I say it all the time, but I am so grateful to you. All your comments, your likes, your shares. It just gets me out there to more people, and I'm so grateful that you do it. And thank you very much. Hey, Larry. Larry. Karen Haltman wants you to know Bruins and, and uh, Wild play each other Tuesday and next Saturday. I told her to send me a reminder. Oh, uh, the Bruins are? Yeah. Against her wild. I am on tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Again, look for this class. I'll be posting this very soon. You'll see this go out next week, along with a whole bunch of other classes. And uh, I'm so grateful for you all. I hope you all have a great weekend. Get your shopping done, girls. Get your shopping done. See you soon. Bye.